Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's April 2021 and the Mirage 2000C fuel system has changed. We used to have a fully automatic fuel detotalizer in this aircraft. The detotalizer is basically a number that shows how much fuel you've got left and we've always just taken it for granted. It's always just worked. But they've changed it to be more realistic because in real life the detotalizer has to actually be entered manually. So, to show you that you can turn this on or off, if you go from your main menu to Options, Special, find the Mirage. As default, Automatic Fuel Detotalization is off, so it's realistic mode. If you want to go back to the old Magic Arcade mode, you can put the tick in like that. First of all, let's just remind ourselves what the detotalizer looked like and how it functioned in the old method with that ticked. We're in a fresh start Mirage. I've started with 50% fuel. All we care about is this figure here, this figure here, and this switch here. This figure here shows our total internal fuel in the aircraft. This is updated real time and will always be correct. It's measured by sensors in the uh, fuel tanks. This here is the detotalizer. This shows total fuel remaining, which is going to be the internal fuel here plus whatever is in the external fuel tanks. And remember that there are no sensors in the external fuel tank, so it has to be added on essentially manually. We don't have external fuel tanks on the moment, so it obviously reads the same as the internal figure. As fuel is burnt, obviously this figure will get lower and this figure will get lower also. Now let's go and change our fuel loading. So we're going to go up to 100% internal fuel and we're going to go and add some tanks on. Request refueling. Lots of tanks on and we can see that the detotalizer has automatically added on the amount of extra fuel that we need to cover in the tanks. Now let's go and show realistic mode automatic detotalizer turned off. In an identical fresh started aircraft, everything's the same. Now let's go and add the tanks again and 100% fuel. Request refueling. This time the internal figure has risen correctly, but the detotalizer is completely wrong. So we need to add on the amount of fuel that we added via the external tanks. Well, how do we know how many kilos that is? Well, you go to your kneeboard, right shift and kilo, and then you are gonna cycle kneeboard forwards and forwards again, kneeboard page next. It keeps a log of all of the refuels that you've done throughout the mission. We can see that aircraft fuel as standing is 3159 in the internal, and 4145 in the external. And at mission time UTC 0402, the detotalizer should read 7304. We've just got to remember now to change it to that figure. Left and right to uh, operate the detotalizer switch. And this could take a long time. That taken so long I've forgotten how much it was now. Let's go and check. Uh, 7304. 73. 04 that's as accurate as we can get so that's the detotalizer set and we'll now read accurately for our mission and when we land again and refuel and add at stereo tanks we'll have to go and do it again i hope that clears that up and was useful and see you later